For today's project, I wanted to make a bench hook. And a bench hook is something that I've been using quite a bit lately. This is my old one. It's made out of soft wood and I just kind of threw this together really quickly. Uh, and I wanted to make a nicer one. So I picked up uh, a nice piece of oak and some mahogany for the hooks. Actually, that's a really good tip because I picked one mine up from a lumber store near me where I can buy a small piece of hardwood so I don't have to buy like 10 feet or anything. I can pick up one or two feet. So that's really useful, especially when you want to use nice wood and not spend too much money. Um, so this project is really all about precision. So when I was doing my cuts, I was very careful to make sure that I had my angles straight um, and that my, my tools were straight to begin with. So I used my little engineering squares um, to make sure that <laughs> the angles on my miter saw were correct so that everything is straight. And <laughs> I mean, in order to make sure that your angles on your saw is straight, you have to make sure that your squares are square to begin with. This is a little quick little test where you draw a line, then flip it over, and you draw a new line. Even if that's the same line, it's square. So that's very important here um, because you need everything to line up properly. So the first thing I did was to check my miter saw and my table saw with these tools to make sure that the blade was square. And they weren't exactly, so I did little fine adjustments to make sure that they were. And then another thing I did here was to plane down, so I'm using mahogany for the hooks, two pieces, and I planed down this one to make sure that this was about a half an inch in thickness, whereas this one is three quarters of an inch. That's because I want one side of the hook to be a little higher than the other. So on my old hook here, I made a couple of angle cuts, uh, a 90, a 45, and an 85 degree. Um, so that's really great about this. You can make as many angles as you need, uh, so it becomes a miter box. Um, so this oak board right here measures about 15 and a half by six and a half. And the mahogany measures about one and three quarters of an inch. So I'm just gonna glue this to the side here. I'm looking for precision here, so I'm, I'm trying to minimize any glue squeeze out and making sure I have glue coverage everywhere. So as you get glue squeeze out, you can use a straw. I've seen numerous people uh, on YouTube do this little trick. I don't remember who started it, but it's quite useful. You just use a straw to kind of get up all the glue squeeze out. After drying, I made the cuts on the hook. I'm going for a straight cut and a five degree cut for a project, but it's easy to add more whenever you need another angle. Once you have a bench hook, you'll find all kinds of uses for it. It's almost like having a second hand around, or at least something that always lends support. Here are some ways to use it. 